Recently, three proud Kentuckians took it upon themselves to rebrand the great Commonwealth of Kentucky. A pretty big task considering these boys had zero money and no one asked them to do it. First, the boys went all over the state and asked the people what they thought about the bluegrass. Kentucky kicks ass. <laughs> Kentucky kicks ass. Kentucky kicks butt. Down here in Kentucky, Turtle Man kicks butt. Second, they made a logo, a YouTube video, and a few kick-ass ads. Third, they put it on the interweb. And just like that, Kentucky had been rebranded. Kentuckians loved it. The press didn't know what to believe. Then the USA Today and the state out of them boys for not having any authority. Kentuckians were furious with the state's response. They came out to defend the boys and the new slogan. Local media came to their defense. National media came to their defense. Daniel Boone grabbed his musket and came to their defense. All of a sudden, the state had a little bourbon revolution on their hands. Realizing the groundswell, the state called the boys in for a sit down. The tourism, arts, and heritage chief mama congratulated them for creating Kentucky's most successful branding campaign ever. They wanted Kentucky kicks ass, but they needed to check with their constituency first. NPR got wind of the kick ass retaking place in Kentucky. They interviewed the boys and ran a national piece on all things considered. Sure enough, they got the blessing from Kentucky's big man. Meanwhile, the press kept rolling in and people kept on signing up for the Kentucky kicks ass message. It's funny what can be accomplished with a good idea, a YouTube video, good design, social media, and a few proud Kentuckians. The boys are still fighting the fight, working hard to make sure the entire world knows that Kentucky sure does kick a lot of ass. Kentucky kicks ass. <laughs>